Today here on Blue Shift Ministries, I'm going to talk about the spiritual realm. I was really compelled to do this. This is pretty much a last minute video. I want to talk about the spiritual realm. I want to go deeper into this. Remember, there's a lot of issues going on today. Everything seems to be running out. Everything seems to be in chaos and everything seems to be whether it's famine, drought, war, betrayal, murder, what have you, whatever these things are, whatever is happening, it's because a decision was made in the spiritual realm first. Remember, the spiritual realm governs the physical. Now, these spiritual decisions in the spiritual realm could have happened 10 years ago, 30 years ago, 100 years ago, 10,000 years ago, whichever the timeline is, because on the timeline of Father's time, Cairo's time, it's on the level of eternity. It could have very well happened 30 years ago and it's coming to fruition now. When it comes to certain acts of betrayal specifically, I want to talk about betrayal for a moment. This is very deep, deep, deep within the bloodline. Something happens somewhere in time. Something happens somewhere in the past. Something happens somewhere in the spiritual realm. Something happens somewhere in the bloodline that establish a betrayal that will take place and will be in fruition in the future now, today, tomorrow, next year, or what have you. Something happened. This is the reason I base my entire ministry on bloodline cleansing. This is the reason I base my entire ministry of going into the courts of heaven, cleansing your bloodline. Repentance is very important. Repentance, repentance, repentance. Remember, we must fast, repent, and bloodline cleanse. In order to remove betrayal, in order to remove war, in order to change things for the better, in order to stop famine, in order to stop drought, in order to stop these things and correct it. It's all about the bloodline. It's all about the spiritual realm. Remember, in the spiritual realm, nothing moves without the bloodline. This is the reason why it's so important to bloodline cleanse. Go please see my bloodline cleansing videos. You must cleanse your bloodline for these things not to take place. I repeat, you must bloodline cleanse in order for these things not to take place. Because if you don't, they will. And you barely have any energy to fight it. You need Jehovah Jireh on your side. You need every warrior angel in heaven. But the only way you can acquire this is through bloodline cleansing. It's only through repentance. You have to repent. You have to submit to Father. You have to bow to the blood of Jesus Christ, Son of David, in order to have all your weapons ready for this war that's coming. This war, it's going to be a very, very nasty war because it has been too long to neglect it and too powerfully decide in the spiritual realm for too long. We're talking about ancient decisions that were made like thousands of years ago. Start now. Repent, hurry. We don't got a lot of time. We don't have a lot of time. You don't have a lot of time. Father Jehovah Jireh, please give everyone watching this video the understanding that they must bloodline cleanse to change these, these decisions. May you give them the understanding that they must repent, bloodline cleanse, and go into the spiritual realm and make a petition to you, Father. That they must submit themselves to you and ask for forgiveness and repent for their sins, repent for their bloodline sins and cleanse it. Break all those altars. Break the altars of betrayal. Break the altars of murder. Break the altars of famine. Break the altars of drought. They must be broken. In order for you, Father, to come in with your divine purpose, because everyone on this planet has a divine purpose. Please see my videos on the courts of heaven so you will know your divine purpose, your book of destiny. I made a video on this. Because if you don't do this, if you don't bloodline cleanse, then it really beats the purpose of your existence. Believe in Jesus always. Amen.